Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on episode three, so day five of our Sunken Land survival series. Show you what I did last night. I moved my sign, show you where it's at just in case you're curious, put it outside, best day ever. Oh yeah. And let's see, remove the ceiling, put some floors in there and put some stairs going up here so I have room to expand. And we have our nice sweet little chair that we can just pop a squat here and watch the sunrise. Isn't that beautiful? That's just a really nice view. It really is. So, um, I'm hoping, and I'm really, really hoping, and we'll see how it actually goes, if there is not any problems with this build being used. And the main thing I'm talking about here is that there's been an, another update because, holy crap, the dev has been putting out a lot of updates. And I'm still using the version that I was using a little while ago. So, I'm hoping that it's not going to cause me any problems. Uh, let me see, what am I looking for? What? Where, 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 where did it go? Hang on, where did it go? I, know, I was just looking at it. Where, where did it go? There it is, marker flag. Okay, so anyway, one of the things that the uh, devs did is that they put it in there so that if you've cleared an island out, you can throw down a marker flag and claim that island. And so we went over to this island right up one of these. This one, the village, I think that's where we went to and did some work over there, which is, I need to make sure I got my bearings right. No, click, stop clicking buttons, Cap. So it's that island right over there. I think that's where we went and got some iron at. So I'm going to head back over there and slap down a flag and claim this land in the name of Cap Nation. So that's what we're going to do first, just to make sure. And I'm hoping that I'm going the right direction. So anyway, thank you guys so much for all the support on this series. It's nice doing a, a little bit of a different game. Um, get out a different game for like a Saturday upload. So I appreciate everybody who's checking it out. I'm going to keep doing this for a little while. Uh, go forward. Oh, okay, fine. Here, let me, can I push you this way? Where's the push? There's a button. Heave! There we go. So, I'm going to keep doing this for a little while because it's working out nicely. I'm enjoying it. A lot of people are enjoying it. So, I played this game for a while. We get to a stopping point, and then I'll think about adding another game to the channel, and we'll do those as Saturday updates as well. I think that could be a good idea. Is this the trader? Um, no, that's not the trail. We need to go that way. Is it that direction? Is that island we did last time? Hell, I don't even know. No, that's... Is there... There's not even an island over here. Okay, we'll go this direction because it looks like we kind of went this way a little ways. May, hey, where did we... No, that's underwater. Okay, so that's Unknown Ruins. That's where we went to. District, Trading Post, Mansion. Is this where we went to? The Unknown Ruins? I'm, I'm lost now. Sorry. Uh, it looks like it's that one right over there. So we'll go over there because we're pretty close to the trader, I think. Oh, okay. I discovered the apartments. Whoops. No big deal. So I'm here. Oh, one of the things that happened last night while I was just kind of moving some flooring around is I did actually have a couple mutants show up at the house. I had three of them show up, so I had to fight them inside the house. And let me see. That was a little bit terrifying. And I know it sucks that I didn't have the video going to be able to record and show you guys what all happened. It was unfortunate that it was like middle of the night. It was just uh, one of those things that kind of happened. So I shot them in the head. They didn't bring me anything useful as far as loot. So really, you didn't miss anything. Is I don't even know where that island was. Did they change the map since the last time I went to Trading Outpost? Small Island Rock. There it is. That's It was way over here. <laughs> All I want to do is go plant a flag on this island and call it good. And then what I really need to do is I need to spend a lot of time working on getting supplies that I need. I'm going to need like rubber. I need more cloth. I need a buttload of iron, more wood. I need all the supplies that I can get because I'm to that point where I'm building cool stuff in my base and I've run out of room for it and I've definitely run out of supplies for it. So there's Trader Lady. So I think that's the island we went to. There wasn't too many enemies there. So we'll go over, plant our flag, call it ours, and maybe we can do some more looting of things there. There's a bunch of iron ore there we never did get. Um, but I don't necessarily think that I have to get it today. So anyway, let's get over here real quick. Here we are. We made it. We got back to where we were. You can see the underground little shipping container that we looted last time we were here. Now, the question is going to be, did anything respawn over here? Oh, I only had nine arrows? Crap. Um, what I do need to do is chop down all the trees for sure. Um, hold on. We'll, we'll just glance around real quick and make sure that we're the only inhabitants of this place here. There's a lot of resources that could be useful. 
kind of looks like everybody's still gone, which is fantastic for me. That's awesome. Okay, so I should still have the stuff I need to be able to make a marker. We're going to slap you down right here. And let's see, quit out of that. And let's see, yellow, let's change you to... What do I have here? My home is green. My boat is orange. So we could mark you as purple. No, blue. We'll mark, we'll mark as blue. Blue is... No, we're not going to do purple. Hold on, we'll do purple. There we go. Purple means we're clear. Y'all help me remember that in case I happen to forget. Okay, let's gather a little bit of supplies over here because we're low on pretty much everything at the house, especially wood. All right, good to go. We've got five stacks of wood and a little bit of ore on us. That's pretty good. We can always come back over. It's right over there. So if I remember the direction to go, then, you know, I can actually do the right thing here. There's a trader. Let's put my pickaxe up. What we need to do, let me see, how is this 67%? So we really didn't even get that much done. Let's go over here to this District 43 thing. We can dive down and get some stuff here if it's not super duper deep. Because we've only just barely started looting that. And I don't remember if there's any sharks here or not. I've got a spear. We should be pretty good. Uh, do I have anything to drink? Let's see. That's not going to do me any good. Roasted bird meat. Table. I'll go ahead and eat you. That'll bring up some of the health a little bit. If I start getting a little bit low on water, well, I'm literally surrounded in water. Surely I could drink from here, right? <laughs> oh, that was something else. Um, if you notice when I slapped that flag down over there, it said sunken land and, or something along those lines here to let me know that... Um, dang it, I didn't mean to change colors. Change you back to orange. There we go. Good to go. So yeah, it like tells you that you put a flag down and that that's now part of your property. Okay, so we have marlin. Marlin are good. Sharks are not around here. Okay, cool. Now let's see if we can go down. There's a truck down there. We definitely want to go get that. That's a decent chunk of supplies. That's sulfur, which I did figure out I'm going to need for making gunpowder. I think you need sulfur and something else. Components I'm definitely going to need. Let's see how long it takes me to mine this. Okay, hold on. It's taking longer than I thought I was going to. I was hoping I might be able to finish that off before I ran out of air, but no, we're going to just barely make it. The days go by really fast here, but it's just like any other survival game. You spend, you know, you end up wasting a lot of time looking around, doing things, and it's like, dang it, man, that's already dark outside, and I need to go home and sleep real quick. This is a good sulfur deposit here. I'm going to need a lot of this, so I need to get as much of it as possible. And that's as much of it as possible. Okay, uh, hang on. I can grab... Nope, wrong. Dang it. Okay, so now I'm going to have to just go up for air real quick because I farted around too long. I don't know how much longer I... Or how much more stuff I need. I think I need components and scrap metal. Uh, more of that to be able to make myself the uh, furnace. To be able to start smelting down some of this ore into ingot, I guess, is what you get from it, basically. Same thing you get from every other one. Uh, let's see. People did tell me that I can get leather from chopping down like couches and stuff. Let's see if that actually works. Wait, did you break? Okay, so you did. You just didn't show me the animation yet. I need to find some more furniture because leather is something I'm going to need a lot of. And I don't think I've found any yet. And despite some people uh, mentioning here, no, no, I don't think you can... Whoops, I don't think you can uh, get leather from chopping apart a fish. I don't think it works that way. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Candy bar, pudding, and energy drink. Oh, nice. That'll help out with the uh, thirst. Make it hard to sleep tonight, I'm sure. Hold on, I can grab you real quick, and then we head to the surface. Nice. We're going to be super chunky. Let's see how much inventory space we have left. We can't go to sleep until it's actually dark outside anyway. Okay, use you and bam! We're good to go on all of this stuff. Sulfur, pudding. Nice. Although, as long as it's sealed, should be good to go. I don't know if I want to eat any ocean pudding or not. That just kind of sounds nasty. And I do appreciate everybody who's been telling me tips like needing the red coral here in order to be able to make certain kinds of medicines. I think and a better healing stuff and to not just straight up eat it, but to, you know, use it. So I appreciate that. I at no point did I ever claim to know everything about this game. So um, learning from you guys in the comments is always nice too. Uh, I'm just going to take all of you and we need to get out and get back to the surface. Besides the pills, I wonder if there is a way to make better diving gear. Because I have the flippers already so that I can swim faster. But I don't know for certain if there's anything else like if you could get actual scuba gear. I don't know if that's a thing or not. It would be cool. 
I just want to get as much supplies as possible. So when we go back, just maybe I'll have everything I need to be able to make the uh, um, furnace. Because I really want to be able to start smelting some of that down. I don't even necessarily know... Ooh, a t-shirt and a plaid couch. Ooh, I bet I could place the plaid couch down and then chop it up for pieces. Oh, there's a truck on its side. Let's get some air. Oh, God, that's... That scared me. <laughs> I thought we were about to get eaten. Nope, just a marlin. They're friendly. Wait, can I not loot you? Oh, there we go. That's a good haul. That's a good haul. Sun's starting to set a little bit, so let's hop on the boat and head back home. We can get some rest, get some more water in us. We're just going to take us a couple trips to get back all of our stuff up there. Looks like a one tree decided to grow back on our base. It seems like so far the trees grow back pretty quickly in the bush and stuff. So now I don't know exactly how quickly they grow. I don't guess it necessarily matters. But uh, anyway, let's get home. Um, I didn't bring my busket with me this time, so I'm not going to be able to fill that up. But I think I got a couple drinks left in it in there. By the time I wake up in the morning, I'm going to be thirsty anyway, so I'm going to need to make sure I get a sip or two. And let's not beat you. You're a pain to get unbeached. Uh, let's see. I can carry this, and that's all I can carry. Okay, well, the rest of it I can bring up later. Not a big deal. Oh, and the other thing I did do is I made a metal chest because I believe it holds a little... Oh, hang on. That's just a blueprint. Let me read you. Uh, Navy... Okay, so armor plus three, armor plus three. This one looks cooler. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, let me put a few things away. Barely enough space in there. Can we sleep yet? That's not bedtime. It's almost bedtime. Do I have drinks in here? I've got four drinks left and I don't have anything to cook on there. Should be time to go to sleep in just a second. While it's doing it, I want to see what I'm going to need to be able to make the furnace. Rubber. Okay, so I just picked up a little bit of rubber. How much do I have total? So I can see... There's five in this chest and two in that chest. Oh, I need one! Son of a monkey. One rubber and then I can make the furnace. That's just a bunch of horse hockey. All right, well, let me hurry up and let me sleep. Quackers, you're good for tonight here. Hopefully nobody will come in. I need to make some more arrows too. We made it through the night. So apparently it's 20 o'clock in which you're going to be able to um, actually sleep. Let me see on the off chance while I was unloading everything in this if I got the one rubber piece that I need in here. Oh, man, I just need the one more. And I did not. I don't think I even have room in all my chest for this stuff that is here. Say so food's a little bit low, water's a little bit low, but I'm good on supplies to be able to fix that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get some water. Uh, might as well get a double on that one. Let me see. I can eat you. Just go ahead and eat both of those. Okay. You are pretty much full. Uh, nope. Okay. Hey, devs, if you're watching this, and I know you kind of do watch some people, maybe not mine specifically, but if you're watching this, it would be great if we could move things from our inventory to these chests if you click on it and it won't go in there if it just doesn't drop it in the ground here now at your base it's not that terrible but if you're out on your boat and you do this it's a very large pain in the butt because then you can accidentally drop stuff in the water that's not cool okay so i need to build hang on where's it at is it under where's it at Metal chest. There we go. All right, so I'll build another one of these. Can I put you right... Hang on. I need you to get it right on top here so it looks okay. That's floating weird. There we go. That did it. Okay. I need to do a better job of sorting my inventory here. This just looks terrible. Bird meat. Is that not cooked? Where's all my cooked food? Tell you what, I'll take a candy bar with me. Okay, we gotta go do some more supply runs here. We're good on all the stuff and the things here. I need to go back over to, what is that place called where we were just at? The District 43. The mansion would be a good place to get some supplies for sure. Uh, we might be able to find a couch or something down there, but there's also a shark. And right at the moment, the only thing I have to help me is a, a wooden spear. It's not the greatest. I can poke it a few times, but he can poke back with his, you know, several hundred teeth. And that's not cool. Uh, I need to go that right over there. Okay, so it's right over that general direction. And what I really need to do is I probably need to hit up what, another one of these little places over here. I did make a few more arrows, so I think I have 19 on me. So assuming my shot's actually good, maybe I can loot. 
Let's go over to this boat and see what's over here. What is Okay, so I haven't even identified that yet. I'm going to assume there's going to be bad guys on there, but maybe, just maybe I can take them out, and then I can claim that in the land of Captopia as well. That looks like a big island that direction. All right, let's at least float over here and identify it. I can see a couple of baddies sitting on it already. They have really good shot when it comes to just using arrows and gun stuff. There's one, two, three, four, five, six that I can see right there. Are you mutants? Okay, so you're just mutants. Oh, the dude up top's either got a crossbow. No, 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 no. Dude up top has got way more of a... Um, a way of a more of an advantage than I do right at the moment. A machine factory? Hey, what's a machine factory? Okay. Let's see what we can get down here. Let's see what kind of animals we have to deal with. We've got marlins and fishes. Okay. This might be okay. Let's, fly, let's float around down here and see if we can find some stuff. This is a chop thing. I'm going to try to avoid getting more wood right at the moment. <laughs> can only get so excited, you know. Hang on, what's down here? Oh, man, that's a that's a place to drown is what that is. What I need to do is swim down real fast to do that one. Get all our air. Okay, let's do it. Oh, wait, hang on. We need to get this first. Come on, have one piece of rubber in it. Nope, that's not rubber. Okay, let's swim down here and see if there's anything worth getting in here. Loot the fridge first. Ooh, that's stuff. I'm just going to take all of it. I'll look at it later. Uh, uh, nope. I may have to either do this one in shifts, or I have to just go back and forth real fast, or I may have to wait till I have a tank. Oxygen tank, or if I take some pills. Ooh, I didn't think... I think I found some pills, didn't I? Crap, I don't remember if I did or not. All right, let's try this, see if we can at least... No! Stupid. Swim straight down. There you go. Kind of all over the place here. Knock, knock! Please don't be like a giant squid in here or something. Well, we don't have to worry about lock picking. I'm glad we don't have to do some like Skyrim stuff. Oh, that's stuff. That's stuff. Uh, well, our inventory's full already. Okay. Let's get back into the surface and drop some stuff off in our butt. Uh oh. Crap. Uh oh. What are you doing? Come on, game. Let me swim straight up. Whew. All right, now we can look see what we got here. Blueprint for a makeup table. Make myself all pretty. And an ore detector. That could be useful. Okay, and we have a GP20. Can be crafted to a functional gun. Broken football helmet. Can be crafted to new armor. High-end perfume. Ooh, I can just sell that. Strawberry seeds. We got a tarpon, a scallop, a crab meat. We got stuff. Let me open, let me put all this stuff in here. Nice. That was worth going down there for. Fantastic. Okay, let's see if we can find some furniture. I need a couch to break apart so I can get just a little bit of leather. I don't necessarily have to have it, but what I need is some rubber. So what I need to find is another vehicle to rip apart. The higher likely chance of finding rubber in a vehicle than it's going to be in any of this stuff here. There we go. We got some rubber now, baby. Oh, yeah. Doesn't this game just look gorgeous? Maybe it's just me. I don't know if my standards are low or whatever, but this game is absolutely fabulous. It really is. I mean, just the visibility in the water is gorgeous. It really is just really, really pretty. I like it a lot. Okay, we need to get back to the bay. Uh, yeah, get back to the base. I want to make myself this furnace so we can start cooking some of this stuff down. Ooh, hang on. There's some more tires. I might as well go ahead and get these while I'm here just in case. I'll get over there and realize I need one more rubber or something. One of the things the devs added that I asked for was the ability to hide the HUD. Now, it would be cool if it was like I could just press F5 to hide the HUD, but if you hit Escape to pause the game, you can go down and hide UI. And so if you're wanting to get a nice little pretty screenshot or something, well, there you go. I'd like to say that they added that because of me. I know I requested it. I don't know how many other people requested it, but... Here's how it went. I tweeted them directly and said, Hey, you know what would be cool is if we could get a hide the UI button so we could get better screenshots. The Twitter account, the sunken land, responded and said, We'll add it to the game. So, as far as I'm concerned, that just means that I got it added to the game. So, yay me. Yay me. 
And for everybody else, you are welcome. <laughs> I have so much influence over game development. Now, the devs have been doing a fantastic job of listening to people and taking ideas and suggestions and bug fixes and things like that. You know, I have to say, they have done a phenomenal job of supporting this game. I should probably park you a little closer to start with so I can actually get back to you and I can get some more of the loot that's in there so I don't have to make 50 trips. Okay, good enough. All right, let's grab a bunch of you. One away from having everything. All I have left is that little gun. If I could wear a football helmet, that'd be kind of cool. It's not going to help me hold my breath any longer, but <laughs> it would definitely scare away some fish, right? I mean, you see an idiot scooting around underneath. All right, do I have the stuff I need to build the furnace on me right now? I need wood. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, let's put you over there and take you with me. Go upstairs and we'll find a place to put our furnace. Furnace, here we go. All right, is that the front? Let me see, which is, I'm not sure if there's a specific front or not. Let me put you right here. There we go. Can place some wood. We'll just fill it like halfway. All right, let's 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 do this here because I'm kind of excited about it. I don't think I have any of my ore with me. I don't. Let's put all you there. Am I not going to be able to do one at a time or can I slap some in there here? Oh, I can only do one at a time. Well, that's un it's inconvenient. Okay, well, let me see. I can put you on there and I can cook you. That's not going to do. That's not going to take too long. All right, let's put a few things away. Uh-oh. Crap. We have the dramatic music. <laughs> Hold on, hang on. Where are they? There's one right there. Stop hitting my base. That hit him. Okay, so there's a couple mutants here. I, if I can rain down, uh oh, go to fall off. There's four. Okay, we need to get some headshots. Stop hitting my base, dude. Oh, that was a headshot. Okay, he's just kind of chilling, hanging out. Bad mutants. Hit you right in the back of the dome. I only got nine arrows left. I hope that's going to be enough. I can run down there and do some pokey pokes if I need to. Spin around. Come here, you. I have to say, the battle music in this game is pretty sweet. Oh, that's a lady. Nice. Okay, a uh, cup of water. Nice. Some, some strawberries. It's nice for her to bring some gear with her. Mushrooms. So y'all brought some food at least. That was nice of you. More cups of water. Well, that was nice of y'all to bring some food and stuff with you. That's very dramatic, lady. Very dramatic indeed. Um, I probably need to bust out the hammer and have a look to see if they actually did any damage. I need to repair it. Okay, so let me take you and... I guess I can cook some mushrooms and see what that does. Okay, let's see what happens. Take item. We have an iron ingot. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to need that for yet, but it's something. Roasted bird meat. You know what? Let's eat it. There we go. Get some health back up. Get some food up. Y'all bring me some water. I'm going to drink it. Hell, yeah. We got ourselves a furnace. Okay, what other kinds of things can we... Uh, did I learn how to make? Let me see. On the first page, we had stuff and things. Oh, I can just make components? Oh, you got to have glass. A scrap helmet. Wait, what was that? A repair station. Ooh. So I need... That could be useful for the things that I just picked up. These things right up here. Uh, like this. Broken football helmet. That could be repaired. I could repair that. And... Where's the broken... Oh, the broken gun's still in my chest here. Hang on. Which one of these did I put it in? My busket. Okay, well, we're going to run down to the uh, boat real quick and get our repair gun. I might be able to make myself a repair table real quick. That could be kind of cool. Let's get some water. Take you out. Broken GP20. Now, I don't have any ammo for it, but maybe I could, like, brandish it and just show it to the mutants and they'd take off running. They're like, you know, they're, they're kind of not civilized, so who knows? Maybe it'll scare them away. How many drinks do you have? You got two. That'll give me three. Okay, let me put you back over here. Keeping all my tools there. It's my packing box you use to move crap. It's a repairing hammer you use to repair things. Okay, so what do we need in order to be able to make the repair station? Scrap and components. Okay, 
I'm pretty sure I have that. Scrap and components. I do want to look just to make sure. Advanced purifier, I have a purifier. Don't need to worry about that. Stove and anvil. That might be needed pretty soon, too. We'll go ahead and research that, too, because I have more iron. Uh, iron. An armor workshop? Triple barrel. Is there black powder ammo? That's what I need. Black powder, which I don't have. I need sulfur and charcoal to make black powder. Ooh. Well, let me get my sulfur. And I have some charcoal. Nice. Let's do that. Let's research some black powder. Oh, sweet. We're going to learn all kinds of stuff. A safe. That could be good. And a repair station. I need just a little bit more scrap. Repair station. Let's go ahead and get that going. Glass walls. Eh. We'll worry about making our base look pretty eventually. Um, definitely got a ways to go. We need copper and iron ingots to be able to upgrade to the next level. So we got a little ways to go before we're going to get that. Let's, what else do we have here? A small air tank. Ooh, when an iron ingot, rubber, and component. Ooh, we can we can do that. Where's my uh, where's my ore? Throw one of those. We can get one in there. Oh, we can make ourselves a... Well, we can at least learn how to make it. Components and rubber. Hopefully, I didn't use all of the rubber. Rubber. There we go. So, as soon as that iron's up there, we can learn to make ourselves a small air tank. We can dive a little... Uh, and a bigger backpack, too. Shark skin? Eh, a little ways to go on that one. Marlin fish skin's easy to get. Cloth, fine. This one will be the one that takes a minute. I think the rest of this we're okay on. One iron ingot for an iron helmet. That's not bad. And a Molotov? Screw those guys. I probably end up burning my entire base down here. Take you. Okay. Let me down. Small air tank. Research. Boom, baby. Okay, so now if I was going to actually build some of this stuff here. So we can make a sack, which we already did. We have our sack right over there. Diving fins small air tank we need another iron ingot components and more rubber okay how much more rubber do i have <clears throat> i think that's enough so i should be able to make one more ingot real quick and get you going and then we should be good to go and we can make ourselves a better tank oh and i'm glad it doesn't seem like it takes that long to cook this which is great if you played like the raft or just raft it takes forever when you get um like iron or copper and you get it from under and you put it in the smelter Man, it takes like a week to cook just one of them down. I'm glad this doesn't go that long. I don't need my survival games to be ultra realistic when it comes to how long it takes to do things. Let me click it and ta-da, it's done. Ta-da, it's done. <laughs> okay, so what was I doing? Small air tank. Boom. We got a small air tank. Oh, yeah, buddy. Hell, yeah. And the repair station. That's the other thing we were looking at, isn't it? Hang on, is that going to be under... It'll be under here? Or is it going to... No, it's probably under here. Repair station. Oh, we can just straight up build one of these already. Okay, tell you what. We're going to put you right next... We'll put you right... Yeah, we'll put you right here. Right right next to it. There we go. Um, do I have to, like, have this in my hand, maybe? I can't imagine that'd be what you're having to do here. Repair. So I'm clicking repair, but it's not doing anything. Let me see if there's anything more to it here. Repair station. Can be used to repair equipment. So it might not be allowing me to repair my gun. Maybe I need something better for that. But let me see about this football helmet. See if I can repair that, because then I can at least wear it. Okay, I'm going to put you here, maybe? I don't, um, I don't know. What am I, what am I doing wrong here? Can be crafted into the new armor and armor workstation. Oh. So this is just going to be used to be crafted into new armor, but I can't repair this? Well, what can I use to, hold on, what can I repair you? So can be used to repair equipment. So like stuff that I already have? Like this stuff down here, I wonder if I used it, if it'd repair it. Maybe? I mean, everything is pretty topped off, so I'm not sure if I had minus stuff or not. Um, maybe I'll figure that out later on. 
Maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and drink you since they brought me some free... You know, I need to make some more arrows real quick. Might as well make a stack 25. I don't know exactly how many hold in a stack, but that should do it for now. Uh, what was the other thing we learned how to make? Crap, I can't even remember what I researched now. Research table, an anvil, useful crafting, advanced way. Oh, that's what we needed. Uh, we need another ingot. And a bunch of scrap. Let's get one more ingot going here. I'm excited about this. This, I have to assume, when I was clicking on it, it was repairing everything that I already had on me that was broken, maybe? that's. I'm going to assume that. If I'm wrong, do feel free to tell me in the comments. I, you never know. Okay, give me this one ingot, and then I should be able to craft an anvil. Oh, I need four ingots for that. That's... Okay. Uh, how many total... How many total ores did I bring back? Oh, I got plenty. I got plenty. Okay, so this is going to have to be a, a thing here. Let me just... Bunch of wood. Take you. Place an item. We get five of these. An anvil. Used for crafting advanced metal weapons. So I might be able to make like a pike. I need some more... I need to make sure I have some more scrap too. I know I do in one of these chests. Let's see. Components... There's some scrap. I need 15, so let's just do that. Okay, put you over there. Put you over there. All right, let's get these going real quick. Let me see. Anvil. Yep, I just need... Just need a couple more. And boom, now we have it. All right, so we can make ourselves an anvil. We'll go ahead and put you right next to the repair station. Might as well. Okay, Anvil. So I can make an iron axe. Oh, I'm going to need a lot more iron ingots for this, for sure. But, oh, a machete. An iron sword. This would probably be... For only doing 30 damage, you only need two iron ingots, some wood, and rope. Oh, yeah. Hang on, don't I have another? I can... Oh, hell yeah. Get a machete. We need wood and we need rope. I got, I got that stuff down here. That's going to be awesome. We're going to make ourselves a machete. I can take you, make myself a rope. Uh, put you and you up, and then a full stack of wood. We get a couple iron ingots over here, and we can make ourselves a machete. Yep, we need just two iron ingots, and we'll be good to go. And fortunately, this goes by really quickly. Take you, get one more cooking, and we're going to have a chetty. And then anytime these... Well, hang on. I'm getting excited here, of course. An iron axe would be great. An iron spear, I'd be able to poke from further away. The iron machete, I think the machete is going to be 30 damage. It's not bad. It's the lowest thing on here, but it's not bad. It's not, I'm going to make one. I got excited about it. Let's make one anyway. All right, here we go. And machete. We have a machete. Put you right there and then bring you right here. I guess that'll work out. Let's see what our machete looks like. Oh, yes. That's fantastic. We got a machete. Oh, that's awesome. Enemies better beware. I wonder how much damage I could do to like a shark with this. Like how much underwater damage it does. We got a little ways to go before it's bedtime still, but we're wrapping up the end of this one here. So we're going to call it a quits on this one. I'd say we made some pretty good progress. I mean, look at this. We got all kinds of stuff here. That's just lovely. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. I appreciate all the support, of course. Subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later.